Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Big Arc back with another YouTube video. Today, as a highly requested video, I will be going over my LVUI UI that I have in game. If you've seen it in any of my um, class guides or anything like that, a lot of people have been asking because of how simple it looks, how clean it looks, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get that. It is a pretty simple process. It involves three main add-ons. It is LVUI, which is basically an add-on uh, tool pack. You can download it from their own website. It's just a quick Google search and you will be able to get it. It also involves shadow unit frames and details damage meter. It's just three simple add-ons and that'll help you with everything that you need to know. Uh, before we hop in though, I'm just gonna make sure that yeah, okay, cool. Just make sure that my Azeroth autopilot is disabled just because it is kind of a pain sometimes, but you know, it's all good. Um, before we do get into the actual guide on how to set it up, I will be leaving a link or basically copy and pasting uh, the LVUI import data that you need. It's just a whole jumble of like uh, letters, numbers, and a huge block. So hopefully it doesn't take up all of my character space in the description, but if it does, I'll just probably make a link that'll go somewhere else and showcase it. Probably like a, a Word document or like a text document, just so anybody can access it. Uh, before we get into the actual UI guide itself, I do want to say thank you to everyone that has shown the love to the channel lately. We are currently at 660 subscribers at the time of recording this, so this is super, super awesome. My goal is to hit 1,000 subs by the new year because that would be an awesome way to ring in 2021. As a reminder, we are doing another WoW token giveaway at 750 and 1,000 subscribers. All you have to do to be entered in that giveaway is just be subscribed to the channel. And, you know, it always helps if you leave a like on the video. We have currently done a giveaway at 250 and 500 subscribers. So, you know, we're definitely doing the, the other two. And then after that, I'm not sure what I want to do uh, planning-wise for giveaways, but we'll see once we hit that 1,000 subs mark. So, without further ado, I made kind of a new character here. I haven't hopped in on him yet. So I'm just going to show you what it's going to look like when you first have to set up your add-ons and basically to get my UI. So we're going to hop in right here. Hopefully it loads pretty quick. Um, and yeah, we'll get right into it. After you Alright, we're going to skip that. And this is basically the first thing that you're going to see. I thought I disabled Azeroth. Um... Azeroth Autopilot, but whatever. This is not part of it. This is just kind of my questing guide that I have. Uh, but the main things you're going to see are uh, details on the right, this little box on the left, and a whole enlarged UI. So for LVUI, it's pretty simple. All you're going to do is just hit continue until the very end, and you're going to hit finished. This is because with the string that I will be putting in the description, all you're going to do is copy paste that, and you will get my UI. So basically, to summon the LVUI add on panel, Oh my god, I can't believe I just used summon for, you know, that kind of action. Anyways, you're going to go down to profiles, and I'm just going to show you what it looks like if you guys haven't seen it before. So this is what it looks like right here. It is pretty clean, pretty simple. Uh, just going to show you at the very end what it looks like too, especially on new character when there's not a whole lot of objectives and not a whole bunch of damage abilities. You really just have a nice, clean UI. Uh, but for anyone that is trying to get it, you're just going to hit import profile and that large body of text that I'm going to have in the description or in the link below, you're just going to copy that and paste it here. And it'll basically show up along here. It'll be like importing. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be called Chud Nugget just because I made the UI on my monk. So it'll be like importing Chud Nugget. And then you're just going to hit import now and it will be able to select from your existing profile. So that'll be super duper cool. Uh, you can just put it on and any character you can do the same process except for once you import it once you just have to select it from your existing profiles once so that's super duper cool uh, i'm going to show you right away you can see that there's a whole bunch of stuff here um, you're basically going to move your details to wherever you want i personally put it on the left here and i have a second window underneath that does the healing so i guess i can show you um what that looks like let's pretend that these are both healing we're going to lock it there and I would have that right there. As you can see though, I have my shadow unit frames and my LVUI frames here. So what we're gonna do to fix that is we're just gonna type in slash LVUI, enter there. We're gonna hit unit frames, enable, and it's gonna ask you to reload the UI. You just hit accept. And then those unit frames for your shadow unit frames are gonna show up while the LVUI ones are gonna be hidden. So I really like the shadow unit frames just because it shows your character actually moving. And once you have like a cool piece of transmog, it's just really cool to look at instead of just staring at your character pain the whole time. 
um if you've seen my class guide videos you can see like it does the actions as if they were standing still so you know like every once in a while he'll like shrug or you know like bend over whatever they do depending on their race um and that's pretty much it for the basic setup um there is a couple features about this lvui that you can't really see uh and that is mouse over bars so typically right here this is kind of solid i have this for my extra abilities or regions that i don't use so if i have to do like a a potion during a fight before a fight whenever um i know i have fleshcraft on that for my priest that is necrolord and you know just like other stuff like zen flight i have in my monk just like your non-important abilities that you have here but then your main abilities you're going to be putting on these bars i have a key bound for what suits for me uh, i use an mmo mouse so i just do one two three four e six five you know it's all over the place but if you guys do want to see a key binding video and how i key bind so there's not a whole lot of movement on my fingers um i'll definitely do a video on that just leave it in the comments um but for now i'm just going to showcase that we have a hidden action bar here so I do my trinket to shift four. So it's, it basically always goes up here. And another uh, tip that I have is to just keybind your mounts. So I have my, um, basically my hyphen. That is my flying mount. And then I have my equal sign, which is my traveler's tundra mount. Uh, that's for every single character I have. That's what I do. Just so I know which one I'll be able to sell on and which one I'll be able to fly on with. Um, but then yeah, shift four is always my trinket. That is one hidden one. And then if you also just have a bunch of stuff like uh, professions, fishing, cooking, uh, any of the stuff that you're not going to use but you don't want to hit uh, K to basically see it every time, I put it in this one right here. So you can see it has a couple little key binds. That's just because it plays into account with my mouse and it's just a lot quicker to key bind everything in my opinion. So this is where I keep all my professions and stuff like that. But they're mouse over ones so you don't see them unless you go over. So this is the main UI that you see. Uh, when you're walking around, your character is centered. One thing that you may notice is that your shadow unit frames are going to probably appear up here as they normally would for your default WoW settings. Um, but I think if you move them before you install shadow unit frames, it'll just replace them. So that is good to know. Otherwise, you're going to have to go to slash shadow UF. And you can hop in and you can kind of change everything around, find where everything is going to be. There's a lot of other uh, unit frames that you kind of don't need. So I think focus and focus target are enabled. I disable those. Uh, target I keep on. Um, arenas and battlegrounds. Um, they're kind of to your selection. So I'm just going to show you uh, what it looks like basically in my PvP, raid boss, or um, battleground scenario. So if I'm in arenas, the people that I'm going to be fighting are going to be showing up here. And then battlegrounds, so like flag carriers or people that have the orb and temple of Kamogu are going to show up on here. And then bosses that I'm fighting are going to show up on here. So really, really cool. It's really clean. You know, you have your center space wide open, which is super duper nice. Um, we're just going to lock those right away. Um, what's another thing that I want to get into? Hmm. There's not too, too much. Um, there is a big space here. That is because that is where I put my party frames. So I know you can't see it right now, but if you saw on my last Shadow Priest um, video, I did a new and updated uh, PVE DPS guide with rotation and all that. But at the end, I include a boss fight where I was doing single target damage. And basically, I have all my group frames in here. They are centered. So if I'm in like a five-man group, it'll be directly under me. Uh, 40 man group it'll be like you know underneath all of the unit frames and stuff and it's centered to the screen so it's super super cool it's really clean especially if you're a healer and you have like mouse over add-ons like click or something like that um you can see your abilities in the cooldowns here and you're just it's a matter of just scrolling up and down between this little square area here and you can still see so so much of what's going on in the fight uh Currently, I don't have Mike scrolling battle text enabled, but I did have it before, and it was really cool just to see your damage coming up on this right side, and then your healing on your left side. Obviously, you have your frames for arenas and PvP and bosses here, so in between that, it really fills in nicely, and it's just a nice little bonus. Um, but that is pretty much it for my UI. It's pretty simple, pretty clean. I really enjoy it. One thing that I may note, uh, may make a note of though, is that your stance bar is going to be right on top of this bar here. So for druids or rogues, wherever you have to go into stealth or change form, it's just going to appear up here, uh, which is really cool. You can keep on it to whatever you want or just have it there to click. Uh, really cool, really clean. It's super close to the rest of the bar, so that's nice. 
uh, but that is it for my video so I'll be pasting the import profile for LVUI in the description below the optional add-ons that you can use are shadow unit frames which you can get off like curse or uh, details which is the damage meter which you can also get off curse uh, but otherwise the main pack that you're going to use is LVUI which you can get from their own website this has been pretty much the end of the video. Thank you all for tuning in. If you do like this video, like, subscribe, comment. I love to have a uh, conversation with people in the comments, and it really makes my day to see people interact with my videos. We are so, so close to that next giveaway at 750 subs, so be sure to subscribe. And if we could hit that 1,000 subscriber goal by the new year, that would make me oh so happy. And we are also doing another giveaway at 1,000 subs, so just keep that in mind. Anyways, thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great Christmas. Happy holidays to everyone. Hope you're doing all well and staying safe. Peace. I'll see you in the next video.